severe dry eye and corneal pain and corneal neuropathy. About 30%. If you go for LASIK and they say it's FDA approved, it doesn't mean you're not going to have X amount of side effects because that's not really part of the requirement. Do you understand that? Well, that's correct. Companies were required to report adverse events. Um, and so they, those adverse events are part of the record, but they're not, they, they call them, they downplay what they are by calling them complications. Hmm. You know, uh, they're just complications, you know, they'll go away. Well, some do, some don't, some remain forever. I mean, dry eyes never goes away. I mean, it just it stays and some people it's really, really, really awful. And it's part of a, a corneal neuropathy syndrome. Uh, How common is that? Uh, about 30%. 30%. Have, have severe dry eye and corneal pain and corneal neuropath, neuropathy. About 30%. 30%. Where do, people, is there, where do people go find this information? Does anybody have to I, disclose it? I sent, I sent you that. that yeah, yeah, that I saw that. Is in the oh, no, you I know, have it. But uh, like if I went to go get LASIK, do they have to tell me this? That there's a third. Well, that's the, that's the rub. They don't have to tell you anything and they don't. You'd think they would have to tell you the percentages. They would have to tell you that you're actually uh, likely to have uh, pain for years afterwards, sometimes severe, sometimes, sometimes not. But in 30% of the folks, you're going to have that problem. And 30% are going to have distortions. And then almost everybody's going to have a weakened eyeball. And that goes with the territory. You're thinning the, the, thinning the cornea. You can't have a cornea that's thinner and just as resilient as a cornea that's not as thin. You know, it's just not biomechanically possible. 